I'm Tia Borden with Mining IR, and beside me is Sabine Hawa, Investor Relations Manager with Quebec Nickel. Sabine, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Are you enjoying the conference? I am. It's been a great conference. What are you so guys hoping to get from being here? Uh, just get our story out there. I think we're a new company. We started uh, in 2020, started exploration last year. And I think we're just looking to get our story out there. Network a little bit. Yeah. Chat with people. Can for you sure. tell us a little bit about the company? So Quebec Nickel Corp, as I said, uh, start, we started in 2020. Uh, we're a nickel, copper, uh, platinum, palladium uh, exploration company based in the Abitibi Greenstone Belt, which is typically known for gold, copper, and zinc, which makes us pretty unique in the area. Uh, we've got 100% of the project, 280 mining claims, uh, 15,000 hectares. And can you tell us a little bit more about the flagship project that you're currently working on? Yeah, so the Duke Rose project, we started our inaugural drilling program last year, um, which yielded some pretty impressive results. We've uh, displayed our core here and at Roundup, and I think some of the geos walking by were just floored by what they saw. We have, uh, I think our highest grade is about 2% copper, um, over 3%, sorry, 2% nickel, 3% copper, 5 grams per ton, ton PG. And uh, pretty amazing for the for uh, how early That's, we are. That is amazing. Now, what is Quebec like as a mining jurisdiction? Is it what's the infrastructure like? Is it developed? So we're quite lucky. Uh, there's a lot of mining, uh, especially in the Abitibi. Um, so it's pretty mining friendly jurisdiction. We have great access on the project with a highway running through. So we've been lucky in that. Amazing. Sabine, what are some catalysts that investors should be aware of? So at the end of 2020, like I, I mentioned, uh, our 2020 drilling program, we did about 21,000 uh, meters across the project. And uh, we actually closed a, a financing at the end of the year for over $8.5 So we're cashed up and ready for... That's exciting. Yeah, for sure. We're ready for 2023. And what are you most looking forward to? Obviously, you're... Set up for success for 2023. Is there anything that's really exciting coming down the pipelines or anything that stands out? We just launched our, our drilling program for this year. We're looking to do another 20,000 meters. Okay, amazing. So exciting results. Yeah. And what uh, what um, distinguishes you from other junior mining companies? I think um, the fact that we're well-financed, we're well-situated. We think it's a great time for nickel right now. Uh, you know, with the demand for EV and all that. Um, and we have an amazing team behind us as well of nickel experts. We have our BPX Gary DeShooter, he's uh, from the big leagues. He's ex uh, Falcon Bridge and Anglo. Uh, on our board, we have Richard Dufresne, 30 years experience, also ex uh, Falcon Bridge, headed the uh, nickel project with, uh, or, sorry, ex Anglo, headed the nickel project uh, in Eastern Canada. We have Christine Petch, who's a, an expert nickel geo. So on our advisory board, we have Glenn Mullen, uh, who's CEO of Golden Valley Mines. It's so important to have such a strong team behind you in terms of creating some success for the future. But for sure. is there anything else, before I let you go, is there anything else that you want to share with our investors? Come check us out on social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We do Twitter spaces following every press release. So come tune in if you have any more questions. Sabine, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you.